Star Project Chronicle. She's got at least 394 subscribers and around 78,547 views. She could kick your ass in less time than it would take her to make a delicious mug of tea. It's Abigail Dufo. Greetings and salutations. It is Wednesday, October 29th. Happy birthday, Dad! Um, I posted a really funny picture of him on Facebook, and he's not too pleased, and it's really funny, but whatever. Okay. Um, anyway. Let's play some Minecraft. Um, so I said today we would be exploring the, uh, spooky ruins more, so there's a little area there, so let's, uh, do this. Yeah. Mine up some of this iron is iron. I'll be for inventory space. Oh, that's looking a little perilous. All right. Whoa, that could have been very bad. Okay. Uh, so my uh, friends and husband and I and some people I didn't know that were friends with my husband and some friends of that person. Um, rated part, oops, uh, rated part one and two, basically, of Siege of Ogamar last night, which was a lot of fun. We got, well, not part one and two, we got halfway through. We got up to the uh, shamans. Um, and we did, crap, we did pretty well. I was, uh, I was really impressed by how well it went. Oh, okay, new pickaxe. Oh, no, there's one that's almost dead. We'll use that one first. Good grief, I cannot get safely down here. Okay, let's go like this. Nope, not having it. Okay, well, let's put this down here. And apologies for the cows. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. I don't know how we're going to get down here safely. Okay. Um, it just kind of goes in that direction, so... Okay, that way is not safe. Let's try this way. No. Let's try this way. Alright. No. Nope. This way? Yes, okay. Okay, this is a little bit more doable. Alright, so now we need to make a path. So we're going to go like this. Okay, so I need to make myself a little path here. Okay. And here. Yeah, okay, this will work. I just need to get rid of all the stuff that is not a part of the path. <laughs> all right. Um, so yeah, we did uh, the 10 man normal for Siege, and it, like I said, it went pretty well. I was quite impressed with how it went. Um, we didn't wipe on any boss. Well, we, did, we didn't fully wipe on any bosses. We had to get creative with some stuff, but we had two. We started off with two and ended up with three people in Mythic. Uh, gear, which is the highest level, and some of it was Warforged too, so that went... It was insane. It was so completely insane. And it went really well, and yeah. So I'm, we're doing the rest of it on Saturday, and I'm really, really excited. Okay, so... Lava? No lava. Let's go to the no lava, maybe? Oh, there's water over there. Oh, more redstone. We don't really need more redstone right now. We need, I mean, iron and diamond would be good. Okay, there's some iron. Let's go this way. First, we're gonna 
plug this hole. How are we for coal? Oh, we need coal too. Okay. We don't, do we need more gold? Yeah, let's grab some gold. More gold doesn't hurt. I'm definitely going to grab this iron. I don't know why there's like a pool of water here. I don't understand. Alright. What's over here? Mm, more iron. Okay. I'm, I'm good with more iron. More iron is good. And yeah, that's pretty much it for news on that front. Um, let's drop this torch and we'll block this off. That's one thing I'm really adamant on, I think I kind of talked about it before, um, is blocking things off when you've already explored them. It makes exploring, especially like crazy caverns like this, it makes exploring them way easier. If you just kind of block off where you've already been and where you know there's nothing there. Um, assuming you're like me and you, you don't like just kind of dig your own caverns and look. Some people do dig like that, they just take a whole bunch of TNT and just go at it and that's fine, but that's just not how I play. There are so many different ways to play Minecraft, which is why it's one of my favorite games ever. Oh, here, more coal. Alright. I'm hoping at some point we'll find an underground like train station because that can have some really cool stuff. Usually lots of spiders, but still. Can all be can all be uh, buddies and chickens. lava. Alright, well, we could kind of, this one looks smaller, so we could maybe try and excavate this one. I don't have any gravel on me, though. So we can't really fully excavate it, but that's okay. Let's go explore it. See what's around it. I don't know if you can tell, but you can kind of sort of see when there's something like this one there's not going to be anything underneath it no but for this one there is you can see it there's like a little bit of extra there on the bottom when you highlight over it so you can kind of see where it's going um like for here there's nothing but for here there is something you can see like the outline of the block there there's a line right here and then when you move down you can see where it stops but there's still something there so if that made any sense whatsoever but that's how kind of how i pay attention of on f when I'm farming stuff around lava. What I might do is I might spend, well not lately because right now I'm farming frogs to try and get uh, lesser charms. You probably don't know what that means if you don't play WoW. Um, I'm basically going around an area and killing all the things to get stuff to upgrade my gear so that running uh, the raid on Saturday will be a little bit easier. Um, but my main issue, because I got no gear. My husband got like three or four pieces of gear. I got none. I was so sad. So I would like to get some gear. Gear would be good. All right, we'll take this. There's nothing here. And we've been here, so let's block this off. Doesn't really matter how you do it. I just like to be somewhat thorough and block the whole thing off. Beautiful. Oh, I see more lava. Okay, well then, we've already been here. Nothing to do here, so we will backtrack. I really don't need any more granite right now. I, I'm sure I will need some eventually, but not right now. Is there anything down there? No, that was where I was taking before. I'll take this, and this is a great way to not run out of all of your torches as well. 
So we've been here, we can kind of section this off. Oh, we didn't go up though, did we? Oops, okay, never mind. We will not section this off. Right, we'll just do that. And we'll section this off. That's what we'll do because we explored this whole area. I herped and derped. I do that quite a bit if you haven't noticed. If you haven't, what have you been watching? There we go. Okay. Now let's go exploring up here. And it's really just that easy for kind of keeping track of where you're going. So yeah, anytime you see dirt, there's usually water not far behind, um, especially if you're underground, because dirt usually only grows near the surface. Um, so if you're trying to find water underground so that you can farm some obsidian, really you don't have to look much further than just try and find dirt if you can't seem to find water. Oh, and there's nothing here. All right. Well, it will go up then, but no, I don't want to put that down. Alright. Oh, I see more iron. More iron is good. Now, the other thing that we haven't really explored yet is a big, deep cavern. One where it's like super tall, you can't see the top. When you're at the top, you can't see the bottom. When you're at the bottom, you can't see the top. And those are really fun because those are usually full of iron and if they go deep enough, diamond and lava and all of that. Um, and I'm hoping at some point we will get to one so I can kind of show you how I cavern it. But in case we don't, I will just explain. So what happens is you end up with like, it's crazy tall. It's like maybe 30 or 40 blocks tall, maybe even 50. Um, usually not much more than that. And what I do is I section it off and I go about four or five high and I just, I get, I get all the stone that I can or dirt. Dirt works too. Oh, hello gravel. Um, and then what I do, oh goody, um, is I just make floors and then I make stairs going down to the next one on each end and I just go back and forth and what it does really is it just kind of enables me, oh that could have been painful, um, it just kind of enables me to uh, be, just um, go piece by piece and not miss anything really. And holy crap, that was a lot of gravel. So we're going to mine that because at some point I am going to need to excavate some lava caverns again, I'm pretty sure. But I will do that when you guys aren't watching because that one video was just kind of insane. Um, but yeah, so we're going to... There's nothing up there so it can just stay. Um, but don't stand under uh, falling sand or gravel because it gets rid of your health points. So quickly as you can, kind of move out of it. And I have no sound, which is not super great because then I don't know when the monsters are coming. I don't think I put it on peaceful. Did I put it back on peaceful? No, it's on normal. Okay. I'm not locking it though because if some if we start like if we find a monster spawn point, I want I might want to lock it onto peaceful so I can destroy it. There, you can see it's nighttime outside. That just kind of the locks just kind of glitch there. It's handy when that happens and you kind of know what's going on in the day on the surface. What are we doing for coal? Oh, we've got a lot, so we're gonna we're gonna stop going for coal. Well, I'm gonna make some torches first. Okay, I swear I heard something again. Now let's make some more torches. Nope, nope, stop that. All right, is there anything up here? No! Alright, that's another area we can section off. That's good. That's a whole area already that we've kind of explored. That's really good. Okay, so, again, this is just kind of how I explore. You absolutely don't have to do it this way. Um, I just find it works nicely. So we'll just kind of section it off here. Okay, I need more stone. This is where it comes in handy to kind of keep your stone stacks on you and not always destroy them. I'm gonna go up here. Beautiful, okay, that's all sectioned off. Now, where do we wanna go? Um, I see something up there and I can't tell what it is, so we're gonna go up there. Well, we 
we can always use more iron. Like I said, I don't think you can ever have enough iron when you're playing this game. It's quite handy. And we'll take the extra granite because we're building our house, our roof out of granite, so I don't think we'll ever have, I don't think we'll ever have too much in that sense. And eventually the house will probably need to be bigger. All right, well, let's go up then. That sounds like a good time. I'd really like to find a, uh, oh, I think we found an exit. I'd really like to find a, uh, a monster spawn so I can show you what they look like. Because monster spawns, um, they show up and they're not, they're not exactly, uh, they show up um, in mossy cobblestone. So it looks like this stuff, but it's got like vines and stuff woven into it. And you can make it now, but um, you never used to be able to. You can only find it through monster spawns and I think in fortresses. And uh, there's a spawner. You can destroy it and it's con it's consistent, it's continuously spawning some type of monster, depending on what type of, um, depends on what type of spawner it is, but it'll constantly be spawning spiders or it'll constantly be spawning zombies or something like that. Anyway, um, yeah, we found an exit, cool. Um, Let's go exploring. And uh, yeah, you'll, uh, oh, here's a cavern. This is pretty. Um, anyway, so um, there's also always a chest or two that spawns with it and there's stuff in there that can be really hard to find or that um, you can't get in game or it's just common stuff and it just kind of depends on your luck, but huh. Well, we found a interesting cavern. I don't know where we are exactly. Hmm. I've, I'm kind of interested to go up, but I don't know where we'd end up. We could, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a map, and then we're going to follow this out, and we're going to try and find it. What I'd like to do, actually, is I'd like to collect a bunch of glowstone from uh, the nether, and then just make a really tall tower that we can try and use to find... Um, our house whenever we need to. So we're going to go back to our house and we're going to make a map and then we're going to follow this back and then when we follow it back, oops, uh, when we follow it back we'll uh, try and find the, uh, yeah, we'll try and find our house. Oh hello bat, I won't, I'll be nice, I won't kill you. Oh there's gold over there, let's uh, farm that gold first. I missed that the first time. Yeah, and there are certain ores, and I don't know the I don't know the numbers or uh, anything like that. I'm sorry because I'm not that technical about this game. I kind of like being in, doing this a little more freestyle. Um, there are certain ores like gold or redstone or diamond. They only spawn on a specific. Um, they only spawn on a specific uh, depth. Um, so you will only find them so many feet down. You'll only find them. Um, so many bolts, so many blocks down, essentially. Oh, and we are out of iron pickaxes. Do I have any iron on me? I do. I could make another iron pickaxe. That seems like probably a good idea. So let's make an iron pickaxe quickly. Oh, I've got lots of iron. That's good. So we'll make a, uh, we'll make a map. I know the uh, the compass, I believe, points to your spawn point, um, but I don't have... Maybe I only need redstone to make the compass. But I need paper to make the map, so the... Actually, you know what? The compass could... Okay, scratch that. Oh, we've been going for 20 minutes already. Let's see what happens. So, we're going to go back, actually. I lied, I'm sorry. And we're going to try and find that redstone that we found earlier. And I think I have the materials to, uh, yeah, there it is. I have, I think I have the materials to make a compass and we can find our spawn point. Okay, so let's try that. And I need the crafting table though. I believe we do this. Yes, okay. We have a compass. So this should point us to where our spawn point is, in theory. 
which will get us close to the house. So now that we have one of these, it doesn't really matter. Whoa, holy leg. It doesn't really matter if we get lost. And it's almost daytime, so monsters should, in theory, be minimal. Alright, let's try and get up. Hope this doesn't work like the map where it only like really starts you off where you kind of began, I guess, in a sense. Alright, so we're gonna go up. We're gonna put, actually, we should probably put some torches down. Put one there. Alright, compass is pointing me, of course it would be on that side. Okay, well we'll go around then and we'll leave a trail of torches with us, because that's how we do things here in Minecraft area. Oh look! I found torches! <laughs> we found our house! <laughs> oh my lord, okay. Well, that did not- Oh, egg. Crap, I don't have anything to put my on. Uh, I can get rid of you. Um, I didn't realize we basically ended up on top of where we were. Okay. Why not? Well. We'll go back to the house, we'll empty out stuff, and then maybe we'll go off in a new direction. If you have any ideas for what you want me to do, let me know. Otherwise, I think, actually, you know what? Oh, I see a skeleton. Um, we can uh, go back to the nether, get a glowstone, and start up our epic tower to try and find out. Oh, there are two skeletons there. I wonder if I can pick them off. Oh, they're going in the water, that's cheating. <clears throat> bones. I don't need bones. But I will take your experience. Now my Facebook is exploding. I think my dad's going to be like, take that freaking picture down. Sorry, dad. I tease because I love. Oh, and at some point I want to get clay and make like a fancy brick oven in our house, but that will have to come later. It's easier, it's actually easier to do this at night because you can see the light from the torches. They're harder to see in the day. Well, we'll just sprint. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, okay, I think I know where we are now. Yep, there's the house. Okay. Well. We're going to stop here then, guys. So, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, so tomorrow, not tomorrow. What's today? Today is Wednesday. So Saturday, we will be uh, going back to the nether. And we're going to try and farm some glowstone and maybe try and find a fortress. That could be entertaining. Um, there is kind of a quote-unquote end game. You go to an area called the end by getting these things that you find in fortresses in the nether. I don't know if that's something I'm interested in doing, but... If you guys want me to, I'm definitely more than willing to try it out. I don't really know how all of it works, but we will figure it out. Anyway, that is it for today. Again, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.